Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the major features on the surface of the planet Venus. Now we can still go, we're still going to drill down into finer detail, but here this gives you kind of a global picture of what the surface of Venus looks like. Now of course, remember there are no oceans, so we don't have the difference between what would be below the surface of the ocean and what would be above, but it kind of gives you a fairly good idea. First of all, there are three regions that we can think of as being continents, although they are relatively small compared to the whole surface of the planet, and they're much smaller than the continents that we can think of on the surface of the Earth. They're called Ishtar Terra, Aphrodite Terra, and Lada Terra. Now notice they use the word Terra to indicate those large land masses which are significantly higher in elevation than the rest of the surface. Now, Ishtar Terra is close to the North Pole, Lada Terra is close to the South Pole, and Aphrodite Terra is close to the equator, just basically south of the equator. Now, on top of the three major regions called Terra, there's also regions called Regio or Regios. Those are also regions that are higher than the average elevation of the planet, but they're rather small in size. Matter of fact, Aphrodite Terra is really made up of several of those regios. Now here we have Metis Regio, Beta Regio, Phoebe Regio, Temis, Alpha Regio, Estla Regio, Bell Regio, Telus Regio, we have Ultram Regio, Emperor Regio, Eta Regio, and we have a large mountain here, we'll talk about that later, and then Aphrodite Terra is also made up of Awada Regio and Tethys Regio. You might recognize some of those names, especially Tethys and Phoebe, because those are names that are also used for moons in our solar system. So here there's actually a duplication of names. But then if you look at the whole rest of the area in between the Regio and the, Afro and the Terra regions, then you can see there's basically a large swath of surface that really isn't that spectacular as far as difference in elevation, relatively smooth, hilly, but undulating and not much difference in elevation across the surface. If there were oceans, then those are the regions that probably in part would be below the surface of the ocean. Now there are also some several regions on the surface that are unusually low in elevation, and those are called planitias. They're relatively flat and they're much lower in elevation. Atalanta Planitia is by far the lowest region on the surface. Definitely if there were oceans that would be low, below the water surface. And on the other side here, Helen Planitia is also a region that is quite low compared to the rest of the surface. So those would definitely be below the surface of the ocean. Now, the highest mountains on the surface of the, of the planet is right here in a mountain region called Maxwell Mons. What's interesting is that this feature on the planet is the only region of the entire planet, the only mountain, the only valley, the only crevasse, anything we can think about, it's the only surface feature that is named after a man. Everything else on the planet is named after the name of a woman, which is kind of interesting, and of course everybody by now probably recognizes this name, Maxwell, and the reason why I read that this was called Maxwell Mons, Mons means mountains, the Maxwell Mountains is because those were discovered for, for the first time when they were using radar imaging to try and see what the surface of the planet looked like. They found this unusual feature that was much higher than everywhere else on the planet. Matter of fact, the tallest mountain is part of this mountain range. It's called Scades Mons. Mons means mountain, so the name is Scades. And it is 11 kilometers above the average elevation of the planet. So if you think of the average elevation of the Earth being sea level, which is not quite right, but if you think about it as such, then Mount Everest sticks out almost 9 kilometers below the surface of the sea, while this mountain sticks out 11 kilometers above the average elevation of the planet, which would actually make it a taller mountain than Mount Everest. So there's a few very tall mountains on the planet. Mount Mons is another very famous mountain. We'll show you some pictures of that later. And again, those are some very unusual features that we'll talk about a little bit more. On Ishtar Terra, 
there are several mountain ranges as well as the maximum mountains. There's one mountain range right here on the edge of that highland. And then nestled in between here is a very high plateau which is called Lakshmi Planum. Planum means plain and Lakshmi is the name and it's a high elevation plateau on the so-called continent Ishtar Terra. So that gives you kind of a feel of how the surface geography looks like on the planet. It's kind of different. Uh, notice that there's all kinds of places on the planet. We have a region that is higher up in elevation, a little bit different of what we see on the Earth. In the Earth, we see more of these continental structures, which are not as pronounced as we see on the surface. But if we start digging a little bit more into it, you'll see there's quite more to be discovered about the surface of the planet Venus.